Well, praise the Lord. It's Wednesday night revival. Let's stand together. Amen. We've come to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. And uh, I've worked all day, and I'm supposed to be tired, but I don't know. I feel a, just an energy and a charge in the Holy Ghost here tonight. Praise God. Praise God. Why don't we lift our hands right now and just invite the presence of God to move and minister in this place. Oh, holy God. We give this service to you tonight. We've come to praise you. We've come to worship you, Lord Jesus. I pray that any heaviness, weariness, tiredness, oh God, concern and stress and worry would just melt away from your people tonight. God, that they could worship you in spirit and in truth. Oh God, we want to lift you up. We want to give you the glory that's due your name tonight. Have your way in this place. Hallelujah. Mm. I bless your name, I bless your name, I bless your name. Praise God, praise God. Amen. Let's worship the Lord together. Sing real good and give God all the glory in this house tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Anybody? <laughs> Isn't God good? Come on, let's clap our hands this, this evening. Come on, let's go. Through you, blind eyes are 
church. Do you believe? Come on. I believe. 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 Say I believe. Pray of the Son of God. I believe. I believe. I believe. One more time to clear. Say. the God victorious that through you we can go through and do all things amen shout hallelujah if you believe hallelujah 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 we love you Jesus I'm gonna raise my hallelujah in this house this evening come on let's give one great shout of hallelujah this evening come on Hallelujah! Raise a hallelujah in the presence of my enemies. I'll raise a hallelujah. How much louder can we make it?
you believe us, church? A little louder, louder than the unbelief. Louder than the unbelief. A little louder. I'm wearing a melody. I need you to make some Holy Ghost noise in this place this evening. Let's celebrate our King. Let's celebrate our victories tonight. Hallelujah. Let hope rise in this place. Hallelujah. turn back to my old vices I'm going to sing and, and then knowing that the response to that is that your hope will rise and you're going to let the devil know you're going to let the enemy know that death is defeated and that my king he's alive and well so I'm going to sing in the middle of my storm Hear me tonight.
you are. Hallelujah. The presence of the Lord is in this house tonight. Would you just tell him you are our champion, God? If I can get some more monitor, Brother Daniel, please, right in here. Hallelujah. Lord, you are our champion, God. We worship you. We praise you, God. We magnify you, Jesus. We acknowledge you as our Father. We acknowledge you as undefeated. We acknowledge you as the King of kings and the Lord of lords. We acknowledge you as the one who defeated death, hell, and the grave. We acknowledge you as the one who died for our sins, God. You are our champion. You are our king. You are redeemer. You are our high priest. You are the great I am. And we worship you in this house. Shut up. magnify your name Jesus we bless your name Jesus we worship you mighty God we magnify your name hallelujah thank you Jesus thank you Jesus hallelujah 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 thank you Jesus thank you Jesus you are worthy God Somebody just raise your hands. Make some noise to Jesus right now. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name. We bless your name. We bless your name. We're not ashamed of the gospel. We're not ashamed to worship you, God. We're not ashamed to raise our voice. Hallelujah. voice and shout every wall comes crashing down I have the authority Jesus has given me when I open up my mouth miracles start Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is in this room right now. If you have pain in your body, if you have a member away from the Lord, a family member away from the Lord, you want to know something? Buddhists practice their religion. Muslims practice their religion. Do you know how Christians practice their religion? We pray, yes. We read the Bible, yes. We worship, yes. But we say in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the living God, darkness back up, addiction break, 
disease break, depression break, infirmity break in the mighty name of Jesus. If you have a need, why don't you just raise your hand right now. Practice your faith. Practice the authority Jesus has given you. If you have pain in your body, why don't you just touch where you're sore right now and just say in Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus. Shut take authority. We push back the darkness. We invoke the name of Jesus in Winnipeg over every de demon, over every principality, over every addiction. God, we use the name of Jesus, the name that is higher than every name, the name that is stronger than every name. Hallelujah. At the name of Jesus, sickness has to bow. Addiction has to bow. Disease has to bow. Depression has to bow at Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Somebody say that name. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, lots of times we come into a service tired, we all go through it. Weary, beat down, enemies working on us, enemies lying to us, and we pick up the things that he, almost like a backpack, I think I might have used it as a sermon illustration before, and we put on the accusations that the devil uses against us. You're addicted, you're a sinner, you're whatever, you're full of lust, and we wear those things like an identity badge. But the Bible doesn't comprehend that because it says once you put on Jesus, Paul said in the book of Romans, put on the Lord Jesus Christ. I put on Christ like a backpack, like a jacket. And that's what some of you need to do right now. You just need to put on Jesus in this house and allow him to touch you, allow him to heal you. And we were singing about him. He is our champion. And what that means is there's no God like our God. I don't know if you knew that, but there's no God like our God. Buddha is in the grave. Muhammad is in the grave. Krishna is in the grave but Jesus Christ hallelujah on the third day he rose he defeated death hell and the grave he took the keys to the kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of heaven hallelujah not so you can come in here broke busted disgusted defeated and questioning your Christianity but he gave you a, you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come on you power to worship him power to use his name power to raise up the name of Jesus how many believe that tonight hallelujah this feels like a Sunday morning hallelujah we're gonna invoke that name right now you guys know brother Moses is in the hospital he's not doing too good tonight or he's, he's home now, rather. He might be watching online. But we're going to use the name of Jesus. We're not, asking, we're not asking anything too hard. The Bible says, if two of you shall touch and agree on anything, it shall be given by my Father in heaven. How many believe that scripture tonight? Would you just find someone with you right now? We're going to pray for Brother Moses. And just grab them by the hand if you feel comfortable enough. And we're going to agree tonight. If two of you shall touch and agree, it shall be given. So, Father, in the mighty, matchless name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we raise up our brother Moses to you. And, Lord, we plead your blood over him from the top of his head to the soles of his feet. God, we command sickness, disease, infirmity, tiredness, weariness to go. And, Lord, we take you at your word tonight. You said agree. You said ask, and it shall be given. So, Lord, we pray for strength in his body. We pray for a fresh touch in his body tonight. In Jesus' name, we pray for your blood to wash over him, your presence to wash over him. By your stripes, he is healed. Lord Jesus, you took every illness, you took every infirmity on your back on Calvary, and we invoke your name over our brother tonight, and we ask your will be done. Raise him up. Touch him now. In Jesus' name. And while you're praying, ask the person next to you, what do you need me to pray for? Ma'am, what do you need me to pray for, sir? Hallelujah. And just begin to pray right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Oh, we thank you, God. We thank you that you are a God who answers prayer. 
Lord Jesus, there's nothing too hard for you. Pastor Dylan. Thank you, Jesus. Pastor Dylan. Hallelujah. I don't know if you can hear me. Hallelujah. I would get off this piano, but you said go to someone, and I, I don't mean to put him on the spot, but I, I want, if someone can help myself, I have young brother Rael in our home, and I don't think I have to share everything, but he, he is struggling, and we're the body of Christ. I don't, like, I, I, I want to see God work in his life. Um, this would be a testimony, not just for young Rael, not just for Taylor and them that come, that, um, that sometimes live with us, but also to my husband. I want God to work in that young man's life. Because there's things that doctors say maybe are impossible, but I know that there's nothing, nothing impossible you, for Jesus. God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Just continue to pray, church, right now. We're having a prayer meeting before preaching. Come on, somebody. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God, we thank you, Jesus. Lord, every need according to your riches and glory in this room, God. You said you would supply every need. Lord Jesus, you would make the crooked path straight. Lord Jesus, you would push back the darkness. God, we're asking that you would, Lord, work in your children's lives tonight, Jesus. We're asking you tonight. We're asking you tonight, mighty God. Have your way, have your way, have your way. There's nothing too hard for our God. There's nothing impossible for our God. Just continue worshiping right now. Hallelujah. There's still people getting prayed for. Don't, don't disconnect. Don't take your attention off Jesus. Just focus on him right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. of hurt, walls of frustration, bow in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We praise you, God. You are worthy of it all. You are worthy of it all. You are worthy of it all, Lord. You are worthy, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah.
Amen. How many is thankful you came to church tonight? Amen. Hallelujah. Can we give the Lord a big hand clap of praise in this house? Amen. Praise God. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord tonight if you want to. Just a couple quick announcements. Um, let's not forget, everybody say Saturday. 7 o'clock p.m. is our prayer meeting. And uh, I can tell you about prayer all day. But unless you actually try it, you won't know what it can do for you. And you know, won't know the benefits of praying, especially corporately with a church family. How many said amen to that? So that's at 7 o'clock p.m. on Saturday. Please come and pray with us. Um, that's why God's moving. It's because we've installed a prayer meeting. Amen? And uh, that's, that's, that's really what it is. It's all glory to Jesus. We encourage you to make it out to prayer meeting Saturday at 7. And then Sunday at 11 is our Sunday morning service. And we're expecting a great time in the house of God. And um, we know that God's moving. God is working. On Palm Sunday, I'm going to get to that announcement right away. Can we get those announcement slides up there? I know you guys were kind of moving through them. And um, on Palm Sunday, which is the 24th, we are having Baptism Sunday in that service as well. So we encourage you, if you have not been water baptized yet, uh, please sign up. You have questions about water baptism, you can come and speak to me after the service, and I would be glad to answer any questions that you have regarding baptism. Friday, March 22nd at 6.30 p.m. in the community center is the men's ministry night. They're having a, a fellowship on, on, the, on the fellowship hall on the other side of the building, and it's going to be a great time. Please sign up. Let Brother Rod know that you're going to make it uh, so he has a, a guesstimate and knows how many people are coming. Oh, look at that. And uh, they're going to be studying the fruit of the Spirit. And how many know that's important? By, by, you'll know them by their fruits. Amen? So uh, Fellowship Hall, 630, and that's on um, March 22nd. And then the very next day, which is March 23rd on a Saturday, is the Women's Ministry and they're having a get-together at the Salisbury House, 787 Leela Avenue at 10 o'clock a.m. And as well, uh, please sign up at the desk so they know how many are coming. There's like limited seating, all that sort of thing. So if you sign up, please uh, actually go to it or else we're going to excommunicate you from the church. Just kidding. I'm just joking. <laughs> just kidding. No, but uh, it's important <laughs> to sign up. Pastor Wayne talked about that on Sunday. If you sign up and say you're going to go somewhere, you go somewhere. Amen? Amen. So that's on Saturday, March 23rd, Bible study. And uh, just going forward a little bit, it's coming up on us really fast. And that is, I, I mentioned it earlier, March 24th is Palm Sunday. And uh, it's also Baptism Sunday. We're going to be handing out 200 palm branches to the first 200 people in the sanctuary just to recognize and uh, celebrate Jesus' entry into Jerusalem. Remember when he was coming in, they're shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest, and they're waving the palm branches at him, and we want to recognize that. Then um, on Wednesday, March 27th, uh, at 7 o'clock p.m., there is no service that day on that Wednesday. There is an annual business meeting right here in the sanctuary at 7 o'clock p.m. And, um, and um, we encourage you, if you are a, a voting, faithful member of Believer's Church, to come to that. What makes a member of Believer's Church? Somebody who's faithful in their attendance and in their giving. I was having a conversation with someone about that just before the service tonight. So we encourage you to make it out to that, and uh, we will do business meeting stuff. Um, March 27th, which is a Wednesday, 7 o'clock p.m. right here. But we're going to keep announcing it uh, to let you guys know. And then everybody say March 29th. This is Good Friday, and um, it's a good Friday because Jesus died for our sins. Amen? So uh, we're, we're going to celebrate the Lord that night. We're going to have uh, a service, but we're going to be also having communion in that service and recognizing the, the Lord's uh, death and resurrection in that Good Friday service. And then on the following, on Sunday, March 31st, is Resurrection Sunday. And oh my goodness, this is just a packed weekend. You do not want to miss it. We got a lot of exciting things coming up. In the Sunday morning service, we're going to be having a church selfie. So we want to pack the house out. We're going to take a congregational photo. I think that's kind of cool. Amen. Also in that service, we did it last year. We're going to do, be doing family photos. We're going to have multiple photographers here. And uh, they're going to be taking family photos in the back. 
and it's going to be an awesome time. So we want you to come, get your photo taken, and it's a huge blessing. And uh, after the service, we're going to be having Sundays on Sunday. Come on, somebody. So I don't know if you know what a Sunday is, but it's uh, the ice cream, the topping, and it's taking place on Sunday. And we just want to do this just to just to form th- that, that community, that, that family of God bond. And it's going to be a great weekend, and um, it, it's going to be a blessing that weekend. How many say amen? So please mark those dates in your calendar. I know I was long-winded on those announcements. Um, we're going to wait on you for your tithes and offerings tonight. Sister Diane's in the back if you want to give by debit or credit. Uh, the ushers are going to bring the offering plates up here to the front. As many of you know, at this church, we like to march around the front, present our gifts, our tithes, our offerings before the Lord on the altar of sacrifice. So we're going to sing another course. The Kids Club is dismissed to your class in the back. And uh, Kids Club is grade one to four. And um, we encourage you guys to be dismissed now. We're going to sing this song. Let's give unto the Lord in Jesus' name. God bless you guys. God, I was sure that maybe they had to step out, but it was Franklin and Ruhi here. 
I think they are here. Amen. Ruhi has been in India for three months, and I have been praying almost every Sunday, meeting with, with Franklin, praying for God's provision to get her and his son back from India uh, with visas and whatnot. And, and he, he could tell the story. I can't remember all the timelines, but things that were going to take six weeks took three days, and things that were going to take... Uh, a month took a week, and, and uh, God just God just worked it out, and they are back home with us. And here, I think they took him back uh, to Children's Church, but we are so glad to have them back uh, to Believers Church. And I know uh, Franklin is very happy to have his family back. Amen. Friday, sorry, let's rewind that. Saturday, amen, at 4 o'clock, I'm asking if we can have some men here at the church, Saturday at 4 o'clock, we have, I think, 28 or 29 of our black panels, sound panels, ready to go up on the walls. Um, so you got to have, uh, you got to know what is, when it's straight, you got to know how to measure. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll be here to help you, and we'll get them all up uh, on the wall. That's not quite all of them. They're still working on a few more. They ran out of material, but that will be, for sure, the, the bulk of them. We'll get them up and... Uh, get the sound sounding a little better in here. Amen. So Saturday at 4, if I could have some help with that, we would really appreciate it. Amen. Exodus chapter 3, if you have your Bibles this evening, Exodus chapter 3, as we go to the word of the Lord, and beginning at verse 1, Exodus chapter 3, beginning at verse 1. Now Moses kept the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian, and he led the flock to the backside of the desert and came to the mountain of God, even to Horeb. And the angel of the Lord appeared on him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush, and he looked, and behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. And Moses said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight, why the bush is not burnt. And when the Lord saw that he turned aside to see, God called him out of the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, here am I. When the Lord calls you, there's only one good response. And it's here I am, Lord. And he said, draw not nigh hither, but put off thy shoes from off thy feet. For the place whereon thou standest is holy ground. Moreover, he said, I am the God of thy father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon God. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt, and have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters, for I know their sorrows. And I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians, and to bring them up out of the land unto a good land, and a large, and unto a, a land flowing with milk and honey, unto the place of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Perizzites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites. And now, therefore, behold, the cry of the children of Israel is come unto me, and I have also seen the oppression wherewith the Egyptians oppressed them. Come now, therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. And Moses said unto God, Who am I that I should go unto Pharaoh, and that I should bring forth the children of Israel out of Egypt? And he said, Certainly I will be with thee, and this shall be a token unto thee that I have sent thee. When thou hast brought forth the people out of Egypt, ye shall serve God upon this mountain. And Moses said unto God, Behold, when I come to the children of Israel and shall say unto them, The God of your fathers has sent me unto you, and they shall say to me, What is his name? What shall I say unto them? And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am has sent me unto you. I want to preach tonight, and I, I do feel a bit of preach on me here this evening. I want to preach tonight on this topic, uh, the God of now. Turn to your neighbor and tell him he's the God of now. 
He's the God of right now. Hallelujah. He's the God of now. Father, we thank you for your presence. We thank you, Lord, for who you are. We thank you, God, for what you're about to do in this place tonight. I pray that you would anoint me to bring forth your word, anoint our ears to hear and hearts to receive what you would say to us. And I pray, God, that you would do all your good pleasure in this place tonight. In Jesus' name, and everybody said amen. There's so many things about this particular account that catches my attention. We know this story as the burning bush. If you went to Sunday school or children's church, you heard about it there and this was the bush that did not burn, and it got Moses' attention, and he stopped to see it. And out of the vo- a bush came up the voice of God and said, uh, Amen, come hither. Or so actually, he said, Don't come hither. Stop where you are. Take off your shoes. Amen. And uh, because the ground whereon you are standing is holy ground. And I like that. And I thought, God, why did you, why did you tell him to take off his shoes? What was, what's the significance of taking off shoes? shoes to stand on holy ground. I felt like God just kind of spoke back to me and said, I don't ever want anything man-made to come between man and the glory of God. Amen. Anything between God and God's holiness has to go. He said, I want you to take your shoes off. I want your bare feet to touch the holiness of God. I want your bare feet to touch the glory. I don't want anything man-made. I don't want man-made religion, man-made clothing, man-made gimmicks. Amen. To come between mankind and the glory of my presence. Can I tell you today, if you're going to know God in his fullness, all the man-made tactics are going to have to go. Man-made religion is going to have to go and you are going to have to stand barefoot in the presence of God and say, here I am. Here I am. And the Lord spoke to him and said, I have seen the situation that my people is in. They have been taken captive. They are are being used and abused. They are being beaten and whipped and tortured and used uh, almost like animals. Uh, And he said, and I have heard their cry. And I am going to raise you up to go and deliver my people. What if it were tonight that God was trying to raise you up, amen, to be the salvation of your family? What? if God was trying to raise you up in this service today to bring revival to your family, to bring revival to your neighborhood, to bring revival to the group of friends that you hang out in. Amen. And so it was to Moses. He said, I've chosen you to go and deliver my people. And Moses asked, he said, who am I? Who am I that I can do this? Who am I that you chose me to go? And I like how God answered the question. He didn't. He ignored it all together. He just went on. He said, I'll be with you. I'll go with you. Don't worry about a thing. I'm going to be right there with you. Can I tell you today, amen, it's not who you are and it's not who I am. It's who he is. And he is more than enough. I say, I said he's more than enough. I might feel disqualified, but he is qualified. I might feel weak, but he is powerful. I might feel insignificant, but he is the God of the universe. It doesn't matter who I am in any situation. It's only who he is, and he is the great I am. Oh, somebody say he's the great I am. He's the great I am. Uh, Moses, I don't need to hear your credentials. Uh, I don't need your resume. Uh, I don't need to know who your daddy was or your mama was. Uh, I don't need to know what college you went to. Uh, I don't need you to tell me how good you are, how smart you are. I don't need to know how bad you are and how, how unsmart you are. I've just come to tell you I'm sending you and I will go with you. Oh, is there anybody that says, I'll go if he goes with me. I'll do it if he goes with me. I'll do whatever he says as long as he's with me. I'll go wherever he tells me to go as long as he's with me. He said, I will be with you. And Moses said, well, what do I tell the people? When I get there and I tell them that I'm come to deliver them out of their trouble, Who do I tell them has sent me? And God said, you tell them that I am, that I am, 
has sent me to you. I like the fact that God doesn't argue. He doesn't try to prove his credentials. He doesn't try to prove his existence in the beginning God. That's how Genesis starts. That's how the Bible starts. In the beginning God. Well, let's just stop there and argue. No, no, there's no argument in the beginning God. Well, let, let's see what science says. No, we don't have to see what science says. In the beginning, God. Well, let's see what philosophy has to say. Don't matter what philosophy has to say. In the beginning, God. Well, what do historians have to say about it? It don't matter what they got to say about it. In the beginning, God. And he said, you tell them that I am, that I am has sent me unto you. He is the great I am. We used to sing a song. I think we sing it here sometimes. He's the great I am. The everlasting father. The prince of peace. The great eternal wonder. Holy counselor. Zion's righteous governor. He's the great. He's the great I am. He said, you tell him the great I am has sent me to you. I come to declare to Believer's Church tonight that he is still the great I am. Push your neighbor and tell him he's still the great I am. He hasn't changed. He is still the great I am. He is not the great I was, and he is not the great I will be. He is the eternal great I am. I am your healer, I am your deliverer, I am your counselor, I am your father, I am the mighty God, I am the everlasting father, I am the prince of peace, I am everything you need, I'm everything you want, I'm everything you desire, I am. Everything God ever was. He still is. Hello? Is this a Pentecostal church? Somebody said to me today, they said, your church is non-denominational. I said, sure. Sure it is. I said, but we're highly Pentecostal flavored. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. I'm, I'm not embarrassed to say I'm Pentecostal. Hello? I'm not embarrassed to say I'm Book of Acts. I'm not embarrassed to call myself apostolic. I am who I am. Amen. And I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. Religion doesn't save. We know all of that. Denomination don't save. Titles don't save. We get that. But I thank God for the blood. I thank God for the Holy Ghost. I thank God for water baptism. I oh, I am who I am. One God apostolic, tongue-talking, holy road, Pentecostal believer in the liberating power of Jesus' name. It's who I am, and I don't apologize for it. Woo! Some of you don't know what to think. He said, I am. I am has sent me to you. I am that I am. I, you know, well, what does that mean? You'll find out. What does it mean to be the great I am? If you'll, see, if you'll follow me long enough, you'll understand that I am that I am. You'll understand that in the wilderness, I am the way. You'll understand that in the desert, I'm the water. You'll understand, amen, that, you, that I am everything you will ever need. I'm going to deliver you out of Egypt. I am. I am. I am everything you are going to need to get to the promised land. I am that I am. Just tell them the I am has sent me to you. Everything God ever was, he still is. If he was a healer 50 years ago, he's a healer today. If he was a deliverer last week, he's a deliverer today. Come on, somebody.
If he was a miracle worker for your grandma, he's a miracle worker today. Amen. If he could, amen, part waters in the Bible days, he can do it today. If he could raise the dead in the New Testament, he can do it in Winnipeg in 2024. Everything that God ever was, he still is uh, Malachi 3 6 for I am the Lord and I change not people change religion changes government will change the world will change but God never changes praise God Hebrews 13 8 Jesus Christ the same yesterday today and forever I don't change. I am. I'm constant. I'm consistent. What I was yesterday, I am today. What I will be tomorrow, I am today. I am the great I am. John 1 and 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word still is God. Praise God. He is still the Alpha and Omega. He is still Jehovah the Lord. He is still Jehovah Adonai. He is still Jehovah Barah, the Lord our Creator. He is still Jehovah Cheshai, the Lord my strength. He is still Jehovah Cherub, the Lord the sword. He is still Jehovah Eli, Lord my God. He is still Jehovah Elion, the Lord most high. He is still Jehovah Gedor, Milcamah, mighty in battle. He is still Jehovah Ganon, the Lord my defense. He is still Jehovah Goel the Lord my redeemer he is still Jehovah Hamalak the Lord is king he is still Jehovah Hashafat the Lord my judge he is still Jehovah Jireh the Lord my provider don't give me your little golf clap Hallelujah. Somebody say that's the God I serve. Somebody say that's the God I serve. He's the same yesterday, today. Turn around, shake somebody's hand. Say he's preaching about the God I serve. He is still the great I am. Mm. He is still Jehovah Masha, the Lord my refuge. He is still Jehovah Majan, the Lord my shield. He is still Jehovah Maaz, the Lord my fortress. He is still Jehovah Mephtali, the Lord my deliverer. He is still Jehovah Naha, the Lord who smiles on me. That's my God. That's my God. I said, that's my God. He's alive and well. He's not dead. He's surely alive. I feel him in my hands. I feel him in my feet. I feel him in my heart. I feel him all over me. Oh, it's feel like Sunday morning in here. He is Jehovah Roha, the Lord my shepherd. He is Jehovah Nisi, the Lord my banner. He is Jehovah Rapha, the Lord my healer. He is Jehovah Sabaoth, the Lord of hosts, and Jesus is his name. Woo. He is Jehovah Sally, the Lord my rock. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I am. He is Jehovah Shalom, the Lord, my peace. He is Jehovah Shammah, the Lord is there with me. Woo! Hallelujah. He is Jehovah Sidkenu. The Lord is my righteousness. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody ought to run an aisle by now. I'm not in my own righteousness. I have a God who has given me his righteousness. 
Jehovah said, can you, the Lord, my righteousness, he is. Jehovah, Yezoah, Hakabath, the Lord, my strength, he is Jehovah, Ori, the Lord is my light. He is Jehovah Uzam, the Lord in the time of my trouble. I'm not talking about a statue. I'm not talking about a gold Jesus on a cross. I'm talking about the King of Glory. I'm talking about the great I am. Oh, he is the Alpha. He is Ancient of Days. He is my anchor. He is the Amen. Oh, he's the bread of life. He's the beginning and the ending. He is the bright and the morning star. He is the bishop of the church. He is the bridegroom. He's the chief cornerstone. I'm talking about my Jesus. Hey, he's still alive. He's still powerful. He's still mighty. He still loves you. He's still in the middle of his church. Woo. My God. Oh, Rabbi Shah. Devil, don't rejoice over me when I fall. I shall arise. How do you know? Because the I am is with me. He is the day star. He is the door. He is the deliverer. He is the everlasting father. He is El Shaddai. He is the fountain of life. He is the first and the last. He is the glory of Israel. He's the good shepherd and he is the gate. He is the head of all things. He is our high priest. He is the intercessor. He is Emmanuel, God with us. He is the judge over all the earth. He is Jehovah. He is Jesus. He is the king of kings. He is my kinsman redeemer. <laughs> he is the lion of the tribe of Judah. He is the lily of the valley. He is the light of the world. He is the Lord of lords. Come on, we're learning our alphabet here tonight. He is the mediator. He is manna from on high. He is the mighty God. He is our Messiah. He is the name above all names. Hey, he's the Omega. Woo! He's the offspring of David. He's the prophet, the promise of God, the prince of peace, and he is our Passover lamb. He is the quickening spirit. He is my redeemer, my rock, and my refuge. He is the rose of Sharon. He is the resurrection. He is the scapegoat. He is the sword. He is my shield. And he is my sacrifice for sin. He's the tree of life. He is a teacher. He is the tabernacle. He is truth. He is undefiled. He is the veil rent from the top to the bottom. He is the victorious one. Oh, hallelujah. He's the water of life. He's the way. He's the word made flesh. He's the wonderful counselor. He is the x-ray God. Nothing is hidden from him. He is. He is. 
Amen. Zerubbabel of the New Testament and the glory of Mount Zion from A to Z. He is my everything. Now I know my ABCs. Devil, don't you mess with me. Hey, he's my I am. He is my I am. He is my I am. I am that I am. And I'm with you. I'm for you. Revelation 1 8, Jesus said himself, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the ending. In Revelation 22 12, he said, And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according to what his work will be. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I am the first, and I am the last. And everything, everything in between, everything in between. I'm preaching about my Jesus tonight. Do you know him? Do you love him? I'm preaching about my God who said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. Though you make your bed in hell, I will be with you. I am. That I am. He is the God of now. He's the God of now. I am is a phrase that he speaks to the eternal present. He's not saying I was or I'll be. I used to be or someday I will become. He declares himself to be eternal. And he declares himself to be constant through the ages. I am. Pastor Dolan read about this on Sunday, John 11 and 1. Lazarus was sick. And the word came to Jesus who was just a few kilometers away. He said, your friend Lazarus is sick. He told his disciples about it. And then... He said, let's just stay a while. <laughs> what do you mean, Jesus? Lazarus is, is sick. You should, you should go to him. We've seen you heal in the past. We've seen what you've done yesterday. And we have all kinds of faith for what you have done. We should go and be with him. Jesus said, no, I'm going to stay here. And he abode two days still in the same place where he was. Finally, he told his disciples, Lazarus is dead. He said, and I'm glad for your sake. You're going to see something here. You're going to learn something here. See, we're all happy when God comes when we call him. Hello? Hello? It's like we got God on speed dial like we have 911. We only call him in trouble. We only call him in emergencies. He's our backup plan. When it all goes wrong, then we'll call. You don't call 911 just for fun. You'll get a you'll get a fine for that, actually. You don't call 911 just to just to play games. You call 911 on the worst day of your life. And so it is with many people. The only time they call on God is in the worst time of their life. And I think you would find, I don't think it, Pastor Jose, but I know you would find that if you would talk to God in your good days, you'd find your bad days easier to bear. I said, Lazarus is dead. I'm glad for your sakes, John eleven fifteen, 15, that I wasn't there to, to the intent that you may believe. Nevertheless, let's go now. Well, should we buy some flowers for the funeral, Jesus, on the way there? Should we pick up a fruit basket? Should we get a cracker and cheese platter? Let's at least stop by Hallmark and get a cart. 
No. We're, we're not going to the we're not going to the funeral home. We're not going to the, his deathbed. We're just gonna we're just gonna show up at the graveyard. Can I tell you in 2024, Jesus still does his best works in graveyards. Yeah, because the dead don't talk back. The dead don't doubt. Hello? <laughs> and so he said, I'm going to wait till it's all over, and then I'm going to show up. He, here comes Jesus, his best friend, his good friend is, is dead. He didn't come to the hospital. He didn't send a card. He didn't send flowers. He missed the funeral. Everything was over, and finally Jesus shows up. And... Uh, and verse, verse uh, 19 of John 11, and many of the Jews came to Mar Martha and Mary to comfort them concerning their brother. See, everybody else showed up, but where's Jesus? Martha, as soon as she heard that Jesus was coming, went and met him, but Mary sat in the house. One woman said, he's got some explaining to do, and the other woman said, I'm mad, I'm not even going out there. This was a bad situation. He's got two angry women. Martha said to Jesus, here comes the accusation, if you would have been here, my brother would not have died. Now we read this in black and white, and we, we kind of put our own spin on it because Martha has got to be a nice lady. And we, in our little minds, it sounds like something like this. Jesus, if you just would have been here, my brother would have lived. But put yourself in her shoes. If that was your brother, it wouldn't sound like that. Jesus, if you would have been here, if you would have came when we called you, if you would have cared enough to show up, my brother would not have died but I know that even now whatsoever thou will ask of God God will give it thee Jesus said to her thy brother shall rise again she said I know he shall rise in the resurrection on the last day see she had all kinds of faith for what could have been and she has all kinds of faith for what will be someday but she has no faith for now and God is a God of now Isn't that just like us? Boy, we have faith for what was in the past. And boy, we've got faith. We, we talk about revival, you know, in, in the future tense. There's going to be revival. There's going to be a move of God. People are going to be healed. People are going to be delivered. People, God's going to do this. I'm tired of talking about what God is going to do. We need a right now, God. We need a right now, God. And the good news is we serve a right now God. Jesus said under her, she said, I, I know he'll rise in the resurrection the last day. Jesus said, I am. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? And she said, yea, Lord, I believe. When she had said so, she went her way and called Mary. Her sister secretly saying, the master has come and calls for you. And as soon as she heard that, she arose and went out to him. And Jesus was not yet come into the town, but was in the place where Mar Martha had met him. Then the Jews that were with her in the house and comforted her when they saw Mary, that she rose up hastily and went. They followed her saying, she goeth to the grave to weep. When Mary was come where Jesus was, she saw him, fell down at his feet saying, Lord, here comes the second accusation. Lord, if you'd have been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews also weeping which came with her, he groaned in the spirit and was troubled. And said, where have you laid him? They said on him, Lord, come and see. Jesus wept. And then they took him to the tomb of Lazarus. And in verse 38, Jesus again groaning in himself, come to the grave. It was a cave and a stone lay upon it. And Jesus said, take away the stone. 
And immediately they begin to protest. Oh, Jesus, we can't do that. He's been dead four days. And by now, he stinketh. I got news for somebody who came to Believer's Church on a Wednesday night or somebody who's watching online. Jesus is not afraid of your stink. He's not afraid of your mess. He's not afraid of what's behind your stone. He's not afraid of what's behind your closed door. Amen. He says, roll the stone away. If you want to see the glory of God, you're going to have to let me in there. If you're going to see the glory of God, you're going to have to open up. If you're going to see the glory of God, you've got to let me in where the stink is. So many times we come to Jesus and we put on our Sunday best and our best cologne and our best Sunday meeting face and we show God our best side. And Jesus said, no, no, no. If you want to see my glory, I got to get in where the stink is. I come to tell you tonight, God wants in where the stink is in your life. He's not interested in what you think is pretty and cute. He wants where the mess is because it's out of your mess is going to come your message. Oh, I got to hurry. They rolled the stone away. They said, didn't I tell you you were going to see the glory of God? They rolled the stone away and he prayed and then he cried out, Lazarus! Come forth. If he hadn't have called Lazarus by name, every dead person in the graveyard would have stood up and walked out of the grave. He called him by name, Lazarus, come forth. And he that was dead, and he that was dead, and he that was dead came forth, bound hand and foot with grave clothes, and his face was bound about with a napkin. And Jesus said, loose him and let him go. I come to tell somebody, God who exists out outside of time can never be late oh musicians come back I gotta quit God cannot be late pastor you don't know you, you don't know how, how far it's gone God's not late Pastor, it looks like it's over. God's not late. I preached a message here back a while ago. It, it might be dead, but it's not over. It might be dead, but it's not over. Lazarus might be dead, but it's not over. Amen. God can never be late. Psalm 46.1. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, let me read that again. Our very present help in time of trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. There is a river. The streams thereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her in that right early. The heathen raged. The kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice. The earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord. What desolations he hath made in the earth. He maketh wars to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow. He cutteth the spear asunder. He burneth the chariots in the fire. Be still and know that I'm God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. The God I've been preaching about tonight is your very present help in your trouble. Philippians 3.12, I've preached this so many times. Paul says, not as though I had already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, 
forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press toward the mark of, for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. He said, he said, I can't live in my past. I can't live in my yesterday. He said, I've got to live in the place where I can put my hands on what God is doing now. Stretching myself, I'm reaching. Not in yes, not to yesterday, not to what I used to have, but I reach out for what God is doing right now. You hear this, Pastor, tonight. If you don't stop reaching for what's behind you, you will never have for what God desires you to have now. Hebrews 4:14, seeing then. We have a great high priest that has passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God. Let us hold fast our profession, for we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted, like as we are, yet without sin. Let us, therefore, come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy to find grace to help in the time of of need our need brings us to the door but boldness gets us to the throne the woman with the issue of blood had a need which brought her to Jesus but it was her boldness it was her desperation that caused her to push her way through the crowd and touch the hem of his garment. Blind Bartimaeus, it was his blindness that caused him to seek out Jesus, but it was his desperation and his boldness to scream above the crowd, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And when they tried to calm him down and tell him to quiet himself, he screamed and yelled all the more, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Because it's not enough to be near the throne if you don't touch the throne. It's not enough to be close to his presence if you don't get into his presence. It's not enough to see Jesus if you never touch him. The man whose daughter was dying, he said, he interrupted his, the teaching, interrupted everything. He said, if you'll just speak the word, she'll be healed. From the time of John the Baptist till now, the kingdom of God suffered violence. The violent take it by force. What does that mean? It just simply means that those who enter into the kingdom of God are those who press their way in. Those who receive from God are those who press their way in. Those who get a miracle are the persistent ones. Those who get a healing are the ones who don't give up. Those who get a right now miracle are the ones who understand that he's a right now God. And if he's a right now God, I believe he can touch me right now. I believe he can turn my situation around right now. You see, I, I'm still simple enough to believe that. I know we've tried to complicate the gospel. I know that we have those who, who have forbidden uh, about preaching about healing. Holy Ghost filled churches. Who say, well, no, we don't preach like that because what if it doesn't happen? People will be disappointed. I had a, a pastor that I know tell me that. We don't talk like that in my church. Because what if it doesn't happen? Believe me, sir, it will not. You don't have to worry about it. It will not. If you're not looking for it, you won't find it. If you're not seeking for it, you won't find it. Brother Andrew, if you're not knocking on it, it's not going to open. But oh my goodness, what if we did preach on healing and it did happen? Oh, hallelujah. What if we do preach about miracles and they start happening? What if we do believe in a right now God and then all of a sudden we see some right now miracles take place? I know this is Wednesday night, but I feel a right 
right now miracle in the Inabohosha in this room. I feel a right now breakthrough. I feel the Holy Ghost in this house that somebody, oh, it was Wednesday. You were tired. You thought maybe I'll just stay home and watch online. But you got up and got your carcass, amen, right of the, right of, off the couch into the car. You drug yourself in here. But now all of a sudden, you will come face to face with the great I am. And a suddenly is about to happen in this house. And the right now God that I've been preaching about for 43 minutes is going to work a miracle in about 43 seconds for somebody in this room. Oh, would you stand up and clap your hands like you really believe that. Come on, let's make some noise to the Lord right now. Come on. Somebody clap your hands like your miracle depends on it. Somebody shout to the Lord like your miracle's getting ready to happen in the next 30 seconds. Hallelujah. Now, holy God, let faith rise in this house. I cast out all doubt, fear, unbelief, and anxiety. I rebuke the works of Satan in this room right now. I bind you and command you to go from this house. Let the gift of faith settle on this house, oh God. Oh, one more time. Clap your hands and shout. One more time. Hey! Hey! Hallelujah. If I get a little bit more monitor. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Now, if you're in this house and you need a right now, God, would you get to the front? We're going to lay our hands on you. I'm tired, but if it's the last thing I do tonight, I'm going to lay my hands on you. You need a right now miracle. You need a right now touch from God. Hey! Hallelujah. 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 He cut a nanaya, satala babo shananaya. He cut a babo shananaya. Hallelujah. I believe, I believe that we can pray tonight. And on Sunday morning when we gather back in this house, people can be meeting me at the door and saying, Pastor, what we prayed about on Wednesday has happened. What we prayed about has turned around. God gave me a right now touch, a right now word, a right now breakthrough, a right now turn around in the spirit. Ikaya. Let's raise our hands. Let's get in touch with God right now. Forget about me for the next few moments. Get your mind on Jesus. The great I am is in this room. The great I am is in this room. It's not Wayne Bustard. It's the great I am. It's the great I am. Oh, don't be shy. Open your mouth. Worship God. Let some worship come out of you. Let some praise come out of you right now. My God, I feel the Holy Ghost in this house. Hey. Hey. Brother Edward. Brother Edward. Brother Andy, bring him on up here. Uh, come on, my friend. You've been sick long enough, I think. Ah, I hope I don't make you mad, but I'm going to take your hat off. I'm going to lay my hand on your head. Come on, does anybody believe God in this house? In the name of Jesus. Oh, I come against, hey, 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 hey. I come against this sickness in your body right now. I rebuke it by the holy name of Jesus Christ and I command these breathing problems to go from you this night in the name of Jesus. Be healed. Be healed. Yeah, 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 that's all right, man. Let it happen right now. The hand of God is coming on your life. 
Kitaya Raparaka. Come on, church, pray in the Holy Ghost. Shanana Bakara Bahaya Rakotora Bayeros. Lord, we're believing for a miracle. We're believing for a miracle. Let him breathe normally from this night forward. Breath of God, breathe into his lungs. Clear it up. Clear it up. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I feel the Holy Ghost. He called Go from him now. Trouble him no longer. Uh, yes. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. In the holy name of Jesus. In the holy name of Jesus. Right now, right now, right now. That's it. Just pray with him a little while longer. I release a right now move of God. I release a, yeah, there it is. I release a right now. I need an usher over here. My God, I release a right now. A right now move. A right now breakthrough. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right now, the great I am has arrived on the scene. I said the great I am has arrived on the scene. He's going to work it out. I said he's going to work it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The great I am. The great I am. I speak a right now move. I speak a right now breakthrough. Yes. Right now deliverance. Yes, right now be delivered. Right now be healed. Body, mind, soul, spirit now. Loose her. Loose her and let her go. Loose her and let her go. Loose her and let her go. Now, 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 now. Loose her. Loose her. Loose her. Loose her. Loose her. Loose her. Right now. Oh, 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 oh. My God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sister Vivian, just pray over her a moment longer. Right now. Right now. Right now. You're a right now God. You're a right now God. Oh, right now, right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The everlasting Father. Right now. Jesus name. Right now. Right now. Right now, brother. Right now, Elder Tom. I speak a right now word over you. I speak a right now move of God. I speak a right now turn around. A right now breakthrough, a right now turnaround, a right now healing. Jehovah Rapha, the Lord, my healer. Right now, right now, right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's the great, he's the great I am. Oh, he's the great I am. Now, right now, right now. Right now, we speak to it. Torment him no longer. Loose. Loose. 
God do it for you. Right now. Well, that's all right. I loose you right now. I speak healing into your body right now. Right now in Jesus' name. Let him up on up. Be healed right now. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. Breakthrough right now. Breakthrough right now. Breakthrough right now. Right now. Hey, in the name of Jesus. Healing right now. Right now, right now, right now. Right now, right now, right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God's doing it. God's doing it. God's doing it. God's doing it. Loose her and let her go. Right now. Right now. Right now. Be healed in your body right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Holy God, right now. Come on. Spirit of the living God, come on right now. Do a right now work, I pray, God. Oh. Oh. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. That's all right. People are being healed, delivered, set free. Right now. Right now. Touch my sister, Father. Right now. Do a right now work. Do a right now miracle. Loose. And come out. Loose. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Be free in Jesus' name. Be made whole. Be healed. And set free. And delivered. Jesus' name. The great eternal one, yeah. the holy counselor. Yeah. Linda, I believe for a right He's now touch. A right now move of God. A right now. Oh, my God. Right now. command your body to be whole, to be clean, to be free right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Touch my sister right now, God, I pray. Do a right now miracle. A right now miracle. Doing it right now. Come, Holy Spirit. Oh, what a mighty yeah. God. We yeah. Yeah. What a mighty God. The Holy Spirit. God. We <laughs> yeah. Let up my head up. Breakthrough. 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 Oh, breakthrough. Right now, in Jesus' name, breakthrough. I decree and declare it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Pray with our pastor, Heather. What a mighty God we Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. The angels come before Yeah, yeah. You're in the wrong church, honey. Come out. Let it go. Looser. Let her be free. Torment her no further. Jesus is the God we serve. That's it. Pray in the Holy Ghost, Sister Vivian. That's it. Pray, pray, pray. Right now, right now, right now. I don't need a miracle for yesterday. I don't need a miracle for tomorrow. I need a miracle right now.
This is Wednesday Night Revival. Science righteous. He's science righteous governor. He's the great. He's the great. He's the great. I am. Oh yeah. Oh, he's the great. I am the everlasting Father. He's the Prince of Peace. The great eternal wonder. Holy Counselor. Science righteous governor.
high priest Amen. Can we give the Lord a hand clap of praise? Amen. 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 I was just thinking uh, when they were singing that song, we sing it here often. That's a very doctrinal song. I don't know if you knew that, but, you know, uh, uh, amen. Amen. Uh, lots of the worship songs nowadays are like about us and how we feel and it's all about me and how God loves me. But worship is who he is. It's not about me. Amen. And in that song, it was saying who Jesus was, just as Pastor Wayne preached tonight. He's the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Everlasting Father, the King Eternally, and all these different uh, titles for Jesus. And I believe when we sing and focus and, and admonish who He is, He shows up in a service where He can meet your need right now, where He can heal you right now. Jesus said in Luke eleven twenty, If I cast out demons by the finger of God, Surely the kingdom has come upon you. And I think the kingdom of, came, of God has come upon us tonight. Amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for this service. God, we thank you for the worship, the word, Lord, the preaching, the message, the reminder of who you are, that you are in our right now. You can meet us right now. You can meet our need right now. You can heal us right now. God, we thank you for who you are tonight, Lord. God, I pray that you would be with us as we leave this house, order our steps. God, protect us, Lord. Give us opportunities to witness. Give us opportunities to show people who you are, Jesus. Lord, let us come back here on Saturday ready to pray, ready to seek you, ready to lift up the name of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you for it. God, protect us as we leave this place, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name and all God's people said amen and amen. Don't forget Saturday at 7 o'clock is our prayer meeting. Sunday at 11 and God's going to move in the service. God bless you guys tonight in Jesus' name.